Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms, coming at you guys yet again from the bunker, or you know, also known as garage, but that's okay. It's only because of this monsoon type weather that we've been getting here in North Carolina that's preventing us from going to the range to bring you that awesome footage, but that's okay because I can still talk about some pretty cool products that we're getting in. And uh, the one I wanna talk about today is this Black Aces Tactical Lever Action 12 gauge shotgun. This is their Pro Series L and yes, it is a 12 gauge shotgun lever action. And I like shotguns, I like lever actions, and whenever you combine them together, that's a whole lot of fun. So I'm very happy that we've got these guys in. A little disheartened that I couldn't make it out to the range today, but that's okay because hopefully within the next couple of days, I can make it out there, take this guy with me, send a couple rounds down range with it and post it up on a couple of social stories or maybe a post here and there. So if you're not following us on Facebook or Instagram or the Classic Firearms Buyers Group, if you've purchased from us before and you're on Facebook, go ahead and uh, sign up for the buyers group. But if you wanna see this guy in action and other products that I can't shoot at the range because of weather, and then when I do get out there, I can actually shoot it, make sure you're following us on our social media so you can actually catch a glimpse of that, all right? Okay, anyway, so what we've got here is, again, the Black Aces Tactical Lever Action 12 gauge shotgun. Very cool looking guy, definitely a fan of it so far, and I do like the finish on this guy. This is like that silver finish with the walnut furniture. And yes, this is legit wood walnut furniture. And I think that that color combination on this guy is just beautiful. Just a beauty of a shotgun. Very nice. All right, 18 inch barrel on. I think it's an 18 and a quarter or 18 and a half. Uh, also too, the magazine tube on this guy here will hold six rounds in it, two and three quarter shells, but it is chambered for three inch as well. But I do know six plus one, two and three quarter uh, with a three inch magnum load, you might have, you know, maybe five rounds on there, a little bit longer, makes sense, right? All right, no worries though. Also to a sling swivel right up front on the magazine tube and a sling swivel right down here on the stock. So if you wanna two point this guy, you can, easy day. Again, we're, as I'm working my way back here, we're gonna talk about that wood forend on it. I do like how much real estate you've got here. So if you wanna hold nice and center here, hold a little bit further out, whatever's comfortable for you, you can do that. And then that, it almost reminds me more of stippling in a sense on this forend feels very good. Same thing with the grip right back here. It's not so much uh, checkering and I'll show you guys really quick. It's not checkering. This is like, it does feel like a stipple job almost. It feels really good on the hand, allows to get a very good grip on it. And uh, I'm liking it, that is for sure. And like I said, Lever action, just how cool is that? And uh, you guys may have seen when we've done like our Henry, you know, I think we had the uh, Henry 22 long rifles that we've shot, things like that. I do enjoy my time on a lever action, but a 22 and a 12 gauge are <laughs> a little bit different, but the 12 gauge here, I'm sure it would just be, oh. Man, a whole lot of fun. Oh, aluminum receiver on this guy as well, which keeps it nice and light, but still a tough boy, that's for sure. You'll notice the Black Aces Tactical right down here, and you'll also notice the safety right here. Now, the safety is a little strange, if you ask me, because typically on shotguns, you might have it right here, which is a little bit easier to actuate on some shotguns or you might just have like your standard cross bolt type safety that would be right behind the trigger. Something along those lines, which here makes sense, can't really have a safety right behind the trigger. You got a lever action, you got to work, right? But uh, for it to be on the side, it's going to be reminiscent of an AR style. But again, a little different. I think it might actually be a little bit easier for you left-handed shooters to actuate just like that right there. Nice. Right-handed shooters, we're going to have to just kind of move our thumb around play that, right? Oh, us right-handers have it so difficult compared to all the left-handed shooters out there. Ha, huh, you guys look like you get this one thing though, right? <laughs> all right, so very nice. At least they add the safety there. And of course the safety on this guy completely, right now you'll see white, you're all right, red is dead. And uh, it completely just locks that trigger into place. Now, if you fire around, and yes, we are clear here, and then you flip it back to safe, you will not be able to fully actuate the lever action, right? Or the lever here. So just keep that in mind, another safety precaution. However, once you flip it on over to fire, it will allow you to actuate. 
easy enough. If it is in the fire position, let's say a round has been loaded into the chamber now, uh, but you wanna go ahead and maybe clear that, you can while it's on safe. It's just after you fired a round and you flip it to safe, you can't actuate the lever. All right, very cool. Stock on this guy, like I said, beautiful walnut. Love that stippling. Again, I say stippling, that stippling type texture that they have on it and a very thick recoil pad will make, if you do wanna shoot some three inch magnum rounds to it, you can just, I think you guys could take it, all right? So very nice. Now, if you're looking for something to be a home defense type firearm and you love lever actions, hey, this is where it's at, right? You can't go wrong with the 12 gauge, load this boy up with some buckshot, birdshot, whatever you want, slugs, heck, the choice is yours. I mean, you do whatever you want, you know? Uh, but this guy here does come with also the Raptor charging handle. So if you want, to, or I said charging handle, the <laughs> Raptor grip. Uh, so if you want to shorten this guy, right now the overall length is about 39 inches. If you want to shorten it down to 31 inches overall length, throw this guy on here, it'll look something like that for you. And uh, you'll have a little bit shorter package to work with if you're having to work indoors with it. And uh, what's nice about this, again, 31 inches, you, it's not really a gun that's made for you know precision shots after you throw this uh, Raptor grip on it. And from the way that I would hold it, probably just be down at the hip and just you know letting it letting it rip. Uh, but you know, hey, again, pick up yours, go ahead and throw that Raptor grip on it, and then send us in some videos of you just putting in work with it and show me what's up with it. How about that? Other cool thing too is that it does come with the tools needed to install your Raptor grip. Very nice. And also too, in this cool little box here with the Black Aces tactical logo, it does come with three total of your chokes. And I'll show you that one is installed. I think the full choke is installed. And then it comes with two others and also your choke key right here. So you twist that guy in there, tighten it, loosen it, do whatever you gotta do uh, to get that guy in there. Very nice. So I like it whenever manufacturers throw in extra chokes for you. And I do believe that these are the uh, Benelli Mobile style chokes. All right. Very cool. And again, I just want to go ahead and say, look at just how good this shotgun looks. Another thing that's actually I'm kind of like impressed about this guy is, is the fact that I've been kind of handling it all over. And typically whenever you get like this stainless looking finish or something like that, it starts leaving finger marks, you know, fingerprint marks all over it. I'm not really seeing that with this. It's, so it's, that's just a positive uh, type of uh, thing I can say about it, honestly. I, I like that. I don't think it's that big of a deal because I would typically just wipe it down anyway. And if it's a working gun, then you know, you're just gonna, <laughs> you're gonna probably, you know, mess up the finish on it, so whatever. But no, it's cool that they actually have a pretty resilient finish on it, so nice. Definitely liking it. Beautiful shotgun, Black Aces Tactical does it again. They've come out with all sorts of cool shotguns and uh, accessories and everything, and now we've got a lever action 12 gauge. Uh, one question before I started this video that I saw somebody ask uh, on the product ad is whether or not this was made in 410. As of right now, no, I do not believe so. However, if Black Aces Tactical started making a lever action 410, I'm talking to you Black Aces Tactical, that would be pretty daggone sweet and I would love to see those in the warehouse. But for right now, grab yourself a 12 gauge. You got a lot more power here anyway, right? All right, very cool. Last gun that I wanna talk about today though is a gun that's a little bit, a little bit shorter, even in when if you put the Raptor grip on this guy, it's still smaller than this guy. But of course I'm talking about our current giveaway, which is the HK, not a clone. This is an HK SP5 with the SB uh, tactical brace on it. And that is a collapsible brace that extends. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do that really quick. That's right, HK slapping the SP5 with the Franklin Armory binary trigger. This is our current giveaway, guys. And if you're not familiar with what the binary trigger is, it fires whenever you pull and release. So it fires one round pulling and releasing, and it makes it a whole lot of fun to shoot, that's for sure. It's a, a nine mil SP5, guys, made on the same assembly line by the same workers as the MP5, the notorious MP5. Oh, yeah, and if you guys play Call of Duty, Unfortunately, my streams the last couple weeks haven't been happening because my internet provider has been failing me, but we do play some Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and if you are an MP5 user like myself and Ryan, uh, hop on there and let's play some Thursday nights at 8, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that 
my internet doesn't go out this Thursday so I can actually play with you guys. All right, I'm gonna leave it off there, guys. Again, get your entries in for the SP5 at classicfirearms.com. Check out all of our Black Aces tactical shotguns. But of course, go check out this beauty that you see right here, this silver finish, walnut furniture, lever action, 12 gauge. I can't get enough of that. Just listen to how good that sounds like. Oh, this sounds beautiful. All right, looks beautiful, sounds beautiful, and I'm sure it shoots beautiful. Again, follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you can see rounds being sent down range with it for whenever I get back to the range and it's not raining on us. All right, all right, guys, if you're not already like this video, if you're not already liking this video, go ahead and like this video. If you're not already subscribed, get subscribed. We greatly appreciate it. Comment your thoughts down below and just how excited you are about this giveaway. I know you guys are. Oh, and if you haven't seen our uh, video on this, announcing it as a giveaway, go check it out. Ryan made me look super cool. All right, I'm going to leave it there. God bless you guys. We appreciate you and your business, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.